Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be learning how to create the key puff pastry item that are used in French cooking using a simple pre-rolled puff pastry sheet and a set of cookie cutters. So if you want to learn how to make the famous vol au vent and decoration items such as the starfish or even the French moon shape fleuron, stay tuned. So before we start the demonstration, it is important to know three things about how product. First off, the definition, then the history, and a little bit on how to use the product. Of course, that really helps. Now, first off, the name. Huh? The pastry uh, casing that you see here is called the vol au vent in French, which means fly in the wind. And I think it's called like this because the puff pastry is very light and airy, and back in the days, uh, there was a lot of buffet outside and picnics. And if you were to stack these things up and there was a bit of wind, you know, because of their lightness, this thing could just fly off in the wind. And uh, when I'm say back in the days, it's because these things are also very old and they date back from the 19th century. It is actually Antonin Carême, which was the eccentric cook of the time uh, that started to create a lot of uh, wonderful buffet and displays of food. And he really loved to use these things because they looked good, you could stack them up and you could fill them with all kinds of savory filling. It actually created a lot of recipe and it's later on that Escoffier uh, continued and today we have 17 versions of fillings you can use with this vol -au -vent, which is quite amazing. Today, how do we use this thing? We usually uh, bake them, we empty uh, the, the, the central part here and we fill them with all kinds of filling. The most common one we're gonna uh, see actually on Friday, which is gonna be our Friday recipe, is the boucher à la reine, which is using that puff pastry casing, empty it, and we're going to fill it with a velouté of mushroom and chicken. It's a simple recipe, but very efficient and trust me, super delicious. Now let's move on to the demonstration. For our demonstration today, we're going to be using the following tools and ingredients. One whole egg mixed with a bit of water for the egg wash, one roll of pre-made pure butter puff pastry, a silicone mat, a flat spatula, a basting brush, and two cookie cutters. We're making Boucher La Reine on Friday, and these are the official French size for the Boucher, or vol au vent. 8 cm in diameter, or 3 inches for the large one, and about 4 to 5 cm, or 2 inches for the small one. Sorry guys, a bit of a technical problem with the mic, but on that shot what I'm trying to say is once you lay down your dough flat, you're going to take the large cookie cutter and find out how many circles can you cut before you start cutting. Now in my case I was able to determine I could make three rows of four for a total of 12 circles. So I'm going to go ahead and start detailing all of the circles on my piece of dough before we move forward. So I said earlier I was able to pre-cut these 12 circles and pressing down using the cookie cutter here making sure the dough really detaches like that. Huh? So make sure it's all detached. You're going to repeat the same for all of them and once you're done it's just a matter of taking the small cookie cutter uh, with the fluted side, center it in the middle like that, uh, and make sure again you press it down almost all the way, but just leave a little bit so it keeps attached to the rest, uh, so that it's easier to remove. When you're done, this is what you should have. So depending on how many circles you have, in my case for 12, I've got six tops here and six bottoms. All right, so when we're done cutting, the next step consists of taking off all of the dough like that and do not make it into a bowl. You're gonna gently fold it over like this and we're gonna reserve it on a flat surface to use for later. Once you've done, you should have on one side the offcut here and on the other side this nice circle. So we're gonna reserve these offcuts in the fridge, keep them cold because we're gonna use them after to make the decoration pieces. And now for the assembly. The first thing you're gonna need is to make an egg wash, which is one whole egg mixed with a little bit of water, like a tablespoon or two of water. And I have this on the side with your basting brush. Now the first step consists of putting your circles on your baking tray on the silicone mat. Now the technique or the theory wants that instead of putting them the way they were, you need to turn them over before you put them down. Now the theory behind that is that we've created channels by pressing down with the fluted uh, cookie cutter and they were pointing downwards and now we need them to point upwards. So apparently this is why you need to turn the base 
of the volovan upside down. So you start by doing that. Once you've laid down the base huh, like this, you're gonna apply a little bit of egg wash on the base. One word of warning, make sure that no egg wash actually goes on the sides uh, of your shapes here because if anything spills on the sides it's not gonna rise. Next we're gonna put the uh, the tops and we're gonna be using actually different techniques that exist but I really wanted to try different things. I'm gonna show you the first one uh, is uh, set to be to just put again these things that you turn around uh, same things uh, you match with the shape and you only put basically the out uh, you know the, this outer bit on top without the hat and you cook the hat separately. This is technique number one. I'm gonna put one here. Another technique is basically you take the whole thing that you turn upside down and you put it on top like that, trying to match the shapes as well. So I'm not too sure which one is gonna work best, but these are the techniques that exist. For this one, it is also said that you should put a little shape like that at the bottom of the, at the base to avoid that it rises too much. Hold on, so I've created the boucher in different styles using different techniques. Uh, remember these are uh, techniques taken from French culinary books and this is how they, they recommend uh, to do the, the boucher or the vol au vent. And the last step of course consists again at adding some egg at the top, eh? again avoiding to put anything on the side and to make sure you've got a nice and colorful uh, boucher. So when this is finished we're gonna leave this to cool down in the fridge for 20 minutes before we cook the boucher in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Well, the casings are resting in the fridge. I'm going to show you quickly with the leftovers what to do. Of course this uh, what I call the starfish you see there are basically these uh, little things here that you just uh, detail in a shape and you can cook them. I've always put some egg wash on top, that's, that's one thing. And the um, little moon shape, fleuron as we call them in France, and this is what you see here. So it's half circle and then you're gonna take your shape again and you're gonna detail another small circle at the bottom. And this is basically what it gives you here. You see? So you detach that boom and there you go you got what we called a fleuron uh, so you're going to apply some egg wash on all the pieces of uh, you know off cut that you have and cook them to serve with your dish very simple when the dough has rested put it in the oven for 20 minutes and hoping it's going to go straight 20 minutes have passed and the result is in. Look at these lovely golden colors using all different techniques. This is the one without the hat and it kind of went okay, a bit sideways and these are the best ones as the one with the hat. I kind of preferred actually that technique. Some of the casing in the back have gone a bit sideways as well but this is due to the fact that we're using puff pastry and this is really hard to predict if it's gonna grow straight or not. So don't worry. If you're at home anyway, you can always fix this by cutting the side here and try to push them on one angle to make them straight again. And you can definitely serve them. They are always as delicious. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be using the free in front here that are lovely for our Friday recipe, which is gonna be the boucher à la reine. So now that we know how to make the vol and the casing, we're gonna be able to learn on Friday how to make a creamy velouté based of poached chicken and mushroom. It's a basic recipe, but it is really something that is efficient if you want to make an absolutely delicious warm starter. But this is on Friday. I hope you can join me then and until then have a good time. Bye bye.